Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show, Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Royal Bounty HD. This is episode 12, and we were heading northward into oblivion. I, I don't really think we're heading into oblivion. We may be heading into oblivion, but there's a better than average chance we're just actually heading somewhere else entirely, like up here. That's the plan. How are we going to get there, however? That is a little bit of a different story. It also appears that for some reason we're heading this way up here, and I don't really know why. Because it doesn't really make any sense at all. Somehow I guess I guess I got off track. Perhaps all I did something wrong, I don't know. But I'm going to grab up some more elves because of reasons and the elves are there and such. Is there a way to get up there? Probably not a super quick way to get up there. Um, yeah, I'd have to say probably not a super fast way to get there. Alright, we're going to tag up the wonderful stables, the stables along the way, and then we're going to actually go and head up here to see where we must go next. It's going to be a long and, um, well, semi ridiculous journey. I'm just saying it's going to be a bit outrageous. How long it's going to take us to get there but we are going to stop over here and we are going to recruit ourselves some more elves it is going to be the play all right we are nearly there we have wasted several weeks and our enemies have grown stronger but we're getting closer to the victory or so i'd like to think or pretend we're here yes let me through all right enemies Show yourselves and prepare to die. Whoa, that's a lot of wolves. Let's kill them. Die, wolves of whiteness. Somehow I have a feeling like we're going to get wrecked here real, real soon. All right, let's see how strong the wolves are. They're not super strong, but they are super fast. That's why we have something called Mass Slow, which we can just totally annihilate people with. So we're going to do some pew-pew shooty action. We have vampires. I don't know what the vampires are going to do. They seem pretty cool. It resurrects itself. It seems interesting, I suppose. If you're into the whole weird resurrecting vampire sort of trope, I guess that's a thing. Alright, we're going to maneuver our shelves over here. We're going to stay up there with you. We are going to do a hard looking from distance over there. And the liches, I believe, can also shoot nasty, nasty little damage things. And there it is. Ooh, we do AoE damage. Well, that is a dead sexy thing. So, let's get some dead sexy things going on here. I'm pretty sure I don't want to do that. That seems silly. However, our wonderful, wonderful witches should be able to annihilate anyone. And indeed, they did. Alright, let's do some murder here. High rainbow power, go, and lich attack. Yeah! Look at that. That dude got nothing. He ain't got nothing. Alright, really want to use my vampires? Bit concerned. I also am a little concerned. You know what? I'm going to man up. The witches got this. <gasps> the witches didn't have it, but they only did 12 damage in retaliation, so that's okay. I can accept that and move on. And the liches say good day, sir. And our vampires finally get to move and get the kill. 2183 down, 32,745 experience. Go into gym. I feel pretty amped up today, guys. I'm actually, it's funny, like, Right before I started recording, I was like, I have no idea how I'm going to do any recordings today. I am super tired. And then all of a sudden, I started it, and I'm fired up. I'm ready to go, guys. By the end of this, I'll probably be... Uh, won't even have words. I'm going to be slurring every single thing I say. You guys will be like, what the heck happened to Bumpy, guys? I don't... I don't understand. He's, he's like he doesn't speak English. Which may very well be true. Oh, no, 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 I said no. Why in the world does it want to go all the way around the universe? All right, I don't care about the silly, silly. I don't care about the wall, guys. All right, let's continue. Ooh, stables. Okay, stables. Ah, mis stables. Yes, this is my stables. All right, there are lots of gold treasure thingies laying all over over the place for us to gather up and be happy about. Oh look, this is a weaker group of uh, white wolves that we already know we can annihilate, so we're going to continue to do so. Why? Because, well, we can, for one, and two, that's that's really, that pretty much solves all of our problems. Oops. 
I forgot the mass slow part of this. Yeah, that would have been pretty bad had I not got that all under control. Alright, a big blast there. A big blast there. And I think, let's see what the vampires got. High luck and no retaliatory strike. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna say we can probably just like flat annihilate you. Not a big deal. We can defend with you. We can probably Hadouken you in the face. It's not too bad. And I guess we'll do a blast on you. Yeah. Our vampires are not super concerned with the enemy right now. Just saying. Die, 56 vampires. Die. Alright, let's annihilate you. 122. Ain't no thing. Ain't no thing. You are officially dead. Now, are we gonna hurt our own people? I have a feeling we are. Nope, we aren't. Yeah! 28,440 experience. Looking pretty good, guys. Looking pretty good. There are uh, several uh, Minotaur over there. We're gonna go grab this up first, though. And there is a thing that gives us more experience, but I... I mean, more mana, but I don't care. We got this on lockdown. Let's slow our roll and start laying into the enemy. I think that is 100% always going to be the play. All right, we shall defend, we shall blast with much hatred and pain and suffering. That's gonna be nice. All right, so these three are going to officially be moited. I am okay with that. Ooh, high luck as a follow-up attack. Now, nope, you're gonna wait. You might be able to kill 69 of these. Yep. You are useless to me, good sir, but they say we need you, so I will believe them. I shall kill you and the rest of you, and now we're going to do a big old nasty blast down here. We're not going to... You know what? Let's do it. Let's see if we can kill 82. 82! Yeah, we actually could. That's kind of impressive. And 58, and then finally the liches say... Good day, sir. The liches apparently can't attack for some unknown reason why is this guy untargetable I want to target you with the lich of death is it because he can't see I mean does he need like line of sight well I feel like the minotaur really aren't doing a whole lot Oh well, I don't know what happened there, guys, why the liches couldn't do the deed, but that's okay. I've accepted it, I've moved on, I've also got one additional defense and some sort of amulet. The owner of such a medal must be very proud to wear it. Increases our morale by one. The Medal of Distinction. Well, I'll take it. I mean, I am all for medals. I think I've earned them. Hands down, better than anyone else in the entire universe right here, and well, in this particular universe. Not sure why I can't... Hmm. Reduces the morale of enemy units by two. It's a sorrow thing. Ah, there we go. Now we can do it. Spell points have been recovered. Let's go see Jim here. Alright, our knowledge has been increased by one. Our morale has been upped by... What was that one point there? Didn't we just get like a scroll of some sort? I thought we did. What happened to it? What is this? Increases your defense skill by two. Versus increases your defense skill by two and decreases your enemy morale by two. Yeah, that's a bit better. And then what is this? Increases your archery skill by 5%. Versus by 10%. And our elf's attack, so definitely better. I don't know where the other um, thing went. Oh, it must have been a spell. It must have been... Um, Oh, we're on page two of four. Yeah, it was Sorrow. Okay, it was a spell that reduces it. Okay, it all makes sense now. It all makes sense. Sort of. It sort of all makes sense. Alright, let's grab up some more wonderful, wonderful gold laying around. And, yep, there's even more. Let's get over here and take this. More gold, more power. Alrighty, let's head on down, look around, see what we can see. There's clearly... is that an observer tower? I think it might be. An observation tower, I'm sorry guys. Go there. Go there now. I can see everything! I can see my house from here! 
All right, again, I don't know if there's anything on the back side of the mountain. There probably is. But... Not knowing for sure... Means that I wasted some time coming over here. I'm about to go through the teleporter, but instead of doing that right away, I'm going to make the very, very bad play of coming over here and getting the very little bit of gold that I just received. I'm going to grab a bit more. And oh, please some of you join me. Aw, oh, they're in the mood for a fight. That's poopy. Alright, well... Hmm... Doth I wish to take them on and lose several people? I guess so. My only hope is that we get to move before they do... We're gonna slow them down, how about that? We'll do some big attacks there. We'll send our vampires up. We'll send our witches within striking distance. He will defend, good sir. You will also launch your attack, and then you shall do damage to your little brethren, which didn't really work. Several more damaged things there. We shall attack you from here. I believe the attack from here should slow your roll. Oh, but we didn't stay. Huh. That is a bit awkward. There's the attack. Follow up, not quite enough. They appear to be very unhappy that we have liches that are, um, standing in opposition to them, I guess. Do you want to go that route? Unfortunately, these are not living creatures, and therefore, we cannot murder them, or lifesteal off of them, I should say. Alright, the defense, the kill, and the follow-up kill. So, we lost only six. It's actually not as bad as it looked. 21,825 experience. We are just melting fools. Left, right, center, up, down, back and forth. It doesn't matter. We are just destroying people. And it's pretty good. Alright, let's grab all this. Okay, we have tons and tons and tons of gold. We still were unable to do battle with the mages. But now it looks like we're going to be going through the teleporter. Oh, we can walk right through the... Huh... Right through the thing. We really lost 117, 189, 47, 191 troops. Hey, we made it to chapter 3. Tundria, Conqueror's Crown. Okay, so we lost a lot of troops there. That seems a bit unokay. Our liches survived, though, so kudos to them. Hey, there's a ghost willing to join me. Don't be afraid. I will be your guide and guardian. Follow the road to Sidonia. Okay, I guess we'll follow the road to Sidonia. The teleporter is lethal. Keep out. Yes, it was pretty lethal. Oh, it looks like we get goblins to join us, maybe. Oh, wait, no. Let me get rid of these goblins for you, said the ghost voice. Oh, okay. Hi. Undead creatures. Uh, killed units become ghosts. That seems interesting. Alright. Um, we'll cast a slow and we're going to move in deep. We're going to defend and I think we're just going to let the ghost kill everything. I think that's going to be the play that we want to make. There we go. Okay, now we have four ghosts. Excellent. Now we have seven. And now we have even more than seven. That would be ten. And Twelve. And defend and kill. Defend and kill. Alright, so the liches made it somehow. I don't know why or how. And all I also don't understand how the vampires didn't make it, though the liches did. They're both undead. Why would one survive and the other not? Who can say, but it's okay for now. Alrighty. I guess we continue down the road. Next crossroads, not this one. So we keep going. Okay, hold on. What is this? 80? Do you think we can kill 80 Minotaur? 
and get ghosts from them? I'm thinking probably not. Let's uh, continue down the road. Alright. And we need to head east, which I guess is this way? How do we get to there? I would like to get to you. Is that a possibility? Apparently not. Wait, move slowly. I heard something. Did you? What did you heard? What is it that you heard, sir? I don't want to click on our teammate, our member here. What is it that you allegedly heard? And wh Why can't I get all of those things? They look delicious. Please, please give me those things. There are some gargoyles over there. All right, watch out, griffins! Not the griffins! All right, well, I, I don't think slowing's really gonna do a tremendous amount for me here, but we're over here, and we're gonna attack with our ghosts, and we're gonna defend, and we're probably just gonna murder two of you guys right now, and then our ghosts are gonna finish this. Bloop, and there it is. All right, so far so good, I guess. Can we, like, make it anywhere that's not, like, directly here? Huh. Okay, what's this? Go to the chapel. There's an old monk there. His name is Cornelius. He's a bit deaf, but still sane. If you want to find the crown, you will have to talk to Rem uh, Rasmus of the Alchemist, Raphael of the Druid, and Archmage of Bonifacius? Bonifacius? Sure. They have been collecting parts of the treasure puzzle. Cornelius knows them well and may have important information. So he has pertinent information. Alright, welcome to the town of Sidonia. Hello, town of Sidonia. Oh, okay. Hello, anyone there? Hello? Uh, somebody said something? Good day, young man. Cornelius, we need your help. We came from Forestria, King's Court, to find the crown. Ho, ho. One more brave treasure hunter. Well, my friends, have decided to divide the pieces of the map puzzle amongst them. So that they get the tr so that the treasure won't get in bad hands. If you can provide or prove if you can prove you deserve the crown, they might share their knowledge with you. I'll try to stray from using wrong voices and reading bad words. It's fine, guys. It's not their fault, it's mine. I'm sorry. Thank you, Cornelius. How can we get there? The road is blocked by mages. I don't think a weak boy like you can overcome them. So, go to the gold mine. There's an old frozen port there. The ice is thick enough to walk on. Oh, I almost forgot the flask. Come with me behind the chapel. Oh, this doesn't sound good at all. You follow Cornelius behind the chapel and then into the cellar. He opens a big chest and took out a small flask. Here, this is the holy water that Rasmus the alchemist asked for. Don't drink it. Bring the flask to Rasmus and thank him for the wonderful male power potion he made for me. Okay. That doesn't sound disturbing, creepy, or weird in any way. Totally normal. And what is here? This is a stables. This is a stables. I shall take it. And have a fresh horse. We should go to the lighthouse first. Trust me. Uh, do we know where the lighthouse is? I guess it's south. Surprise! Alright, I'm trusting this ghost, but I don't know to what end. Alright, looks like we're up against some more goblins. We're going to use our... AoE slow of death, and then we're gonna wait it out. And the slow and steady murder is going to grow our ghost army. And as we slowly get more and more powerful, we shall face ever growing armies of enemies. Well, it's nice to have the liches in reserve. Hmm. This lighthouse seems to be a little, like, concernedly uh, missing. Like, I do not see it anywhere. Uh, north to the teleport gold mine, south the lighthouse, and east to Sidonia or the gold mine. So I guess we continue to head southish as best we can. 
It looks like we'll be up against air elementals of death. I don't know what this is going to do. It's probably going to be awful. Do they shoot at us? They do not. And their speed is kind of... Well, fear not, sirs and sirettes. We shall hold the line. We shall defend our arms, whatever the cost may be. It's a little weird that we don't explode on them. Hmm. All right, I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill all of them. Oh, with high luck, probably. All right, I'm going to weaken some of these guys, because I assume that they're going to hurt us a little bit. Okay, I'm going to come down here. And we still have 33. Okay, we're not actually gaining anything out of this, so... We'll kill them outright. 1750. Yeah, unfortunately, since they weren't living creatures, we weren't really gaining much out of the whole ordeal. Let's come over here, and... The lighthouse is forsaken and frozen. On the floor, you found a notice. George, do not forget that I have put traps along the entrance. Too many goblin thieves these days. Use the back door behind the lab. Raphael. From the observation tower, you were able to see distant lands. All right. I'm going to go over here to the tent. In the lighthouse, you found some wood, a nice pair of greaves, and an old rusty key. Hey, this may come in handy, you thought, and put it in your pocket. Now, we can head out to the ice road... Cornelius was talking about. Interesting. And there are iron greaves and other various things. We will check that. And now we have the purple tent, I guess, that's available for us. Let's see what these greaves do. They have gone onto our or into our inventory slot already. Defense increases by two. I like it. And, yeah. That's that. Now there's supposed to be an ice bridge or something that he was talking about. Hmm. Well, I'm not so sure I see what's going on here, but... Uh, I don't remember this. Oh, this part of the map is so good for us. Actually, this is really bad. Where are we? Oh. Okay. Well... It says there's an ice bridge somewhere here, but I don't see one. So what I'm going to do instead is come back this way to hopefully civilized areas, and we'll see where that takes us. Is there a way through over here or something? I just, I don't know what's going on. It looks like there's probably, probably a lot of fun up over there as well. We are just missing out on... Alright, let's go kill these 80 Minotaur. I'm sure we can handle them. I'm not super concerned with it. Okay. Uh, they, they actually kill some of our ghosts? I think they may have. Alright, we're going to defend. And we're going to blast the big group of you. Going to annihilate you. That's 47. We're going to defend. We're going to defend. We're going to actually try to get as many of these as we can. 61... Defend, and good day. Alright, so our ghosts are now up to 74. I should have probably not killed them as quickly as I did. We're going to come over here and see if we can't get into a fight, or at least get some treasure loot. There's a hundred gargoyles that stand in opposition of us. I am okay with this scenario. Please, come over and play with us. I'm going to have to do some murder here. It's a bit unfortunate, but we'll slow it down a little. We'll slow its roll. Murder! Oh, we don't get anything for these guys, too. Excellent. Well, it's also unfortunate that we didn't actually get anything for that at all. Alright, we can defend, and we can murder again. Hmm. Who knew that would be a thing? Die and die. Not much experience we're gaining, but in theory we're gaining a decent amount of troops, and now it looks like we're gaining a decent amount of money. So in all, it's not too bad. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, staying moving always is always of the best goal, or it seems to be the best goal in this particular game. Alright, I don't really want peasants, so I'm just not going to hire them, I guess. We'll come down here, we'll get into this last fight, and then I'll break off the episode, folks. Alright, looks like we should be fine once again. We'll slow them down, we'll move forward, and we'll prepare for, hopeful, uh, lots and lots and lots of troops added to our forces here. 
All right, sweet murder death kill. More murder death killing. Even more murder death killing. Defend, defend. Go down here, take him out, defend, defend, retaliate, and yeah. Up to 94 now, excellent. And we have over 51,000 gold to our name, which is also excellent. I also have no idea where I need to be heading now. I swear there's supposed to be an ice bridge, but I don't see it. Alright, I guess we walk over here and see if we can't find our way through? Is there a way through? There is not. And I didn't see an ice bridge anywhere either. Like, none of these things are triggering for me to be able to move here. I feel like this is a little ridiculous. Alright, well, whatever. We shall move back this way. And eventually, perhaps, maybe, just maybe... Nope, we can't go that way at all. I feel like we've probably made a horrible mistake at some point. Well, that I'm actually absolutely certain, but I don't know where we need to be heading at this point. I guess maybe up this way? Alright, we're going to run on over there, guys, and then I'm breaking it off. Hopefully you had fun with this. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I guess I will see you guys in the very next episode. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.